often with consultants, it's very academic and it kind of means something when they're there, but once they've gone away, you're left with, and now what? How do I implement that? But what Giving Architects have been able to give to Selwyn is really that route, that map, to take me on that journey so that I do know what I have to do next. And yes, I may have to defer, and we've already got plans to come back to Giving Architects, but I still have to do a bit of work before we get to that next step. But knowing that they were there, knowing that they could guide me was so important. I remember the early conversations we had with the team at Selwyn Foundation were really about how to create and develop an effective bequest program. And what was really interesting is to actually spend some time with them to think about what was the impact that they were having as an organisation, who their natural constituencies were, and what lay ahead of them. And that that actually led us towards considering a much broader and more effective fundraising program than simply just a bequest program. That's right, yeah. So when we started to ask more questions mm. from them and unpack what they were really wanting to achieve, that's when it became more apparent that it was about revisiting their mission and really delivering on, the, on their mission was what they really wanted to do. I recollect that we spent quite a bit of time talking to stakeholders, one-on-one -on -one interviews, which was great to understand how that resonated um, with the community and we were able to introduce them to a lot of partners who were going to be able to help them um, achieve their their ultimate outcomes. Mm -hmm. Now this is the uh, kind of the early conversations that's led us to developing a much more informed and effective fundraising program. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The team of Giving Architects became a so on team and it was just like having a, a, a charitable team, fundraising team there and we just worked together and we all brought ideas and views and challenged one another and you know we reached to the next step of what we were trying to achieve so for me it was just like having a, a team within Selwyn and they provided some really good structures um, with weekly meetings and monthly reports to keep us on track and to make sure that we were actually delivering one of the advantages that we have at Giving Architects is we've had many, many years in a wide range of organisations at all stages of their fundraising journey to draw upon that experience and understanding. And so what we're able to do when working with the Selwyn Foundation is actually really to become part of the team, to really be inside the organisation together and examine what it would mean to have effective fundraising work there. And so that really importantly included understanding what would this organisation look and sound like uh, when it presented the donor-centric messaging, but it also uh, was important for us to consider how might a fundraising function develop with this organisation? What would be the first step? What would be the second step? How might you justify the third step? And so we were really able to sit alongside Karen and the team, listen to the board and, and other stakeholders in the organisation and determine the best way forward for an effective fundraising solution. The hardest thing for me is um, a marketer who's spent 30 plus goodness years in advertising and marketing was understanding the need for donor-centric approach to everything, the way you speak, the way, the way it looks. And that was, has actually been quite a hard transition and it's been great to have the team there to guide me and keep reminding me, taking me back to what, what it is we're trying to achieve. I work with the Selwyn Foundation started with having lots of conversations internally to identify the need and define the opportunities. What we did was to really understand how Selwyn Foundation can meet needs and it was not about Selwyn Foundation having needs and this was the donor-centric message that we wanted to bring through with the Selwyn Foundation. So our focus was to develop a sustainable fundraising program that will be there for um, Selwyn Foundation beyond our work with them and um, our work around developing best practice fundraising was critical for them to be able to do that. So starting from thinking about policies, thinking about uh, 
databases, thinking about how best we develop the various um, types of resources. We went through all of that with them for um, be able to implement a really uh, sustainable, good fundraising program. By having Giving Architects guide us through, put the foundations in place so that we can then start to plan. We have the Giving Architects team meet up with the Selwyn Institute team, um, with the community team, um, the Selwyn centres, and they went and actually did quite a lot of um, connecting in with the, a couple of the different Selwyn centres to really get a sense of what Selwyn is, has been doing in the past around um, community, the community support for older people. And uh, so having organised the number of different uh, stakeholders throughout our organisation, um, they came back with a better understanding of who we were and, and what people were hoping hoping to um, be able to share with the wider world, the stories that perhaps might interest people and might uh, convince people that uh, Selwyn Foundation is a worthy organisation to give to because of what we can do for older people and our understanding of their needs. When we, when we went on this journey for a CRM, it was great to have the Giving Architects team who had hands-on experience with a number of the platforms that we were investigating and it was really welcoming uh, to to have their guidance and for them to sort of say it's okay to go with a, the uh, fewer bells and whistles because we are quite immature as a, as a fundraising charity and it was really comforting to know that we had chosen well and that we were heading in the right direction but then they were able to sense check every step of the way through making sure that we had thought about every element that we might not necessarily need today we might not have that information today but when we set up as a, a proper fundraising team we will be asking for that information from people. So we were able to future-proof and ensure that that data that we're going to, that we have, that we're going to continue to collect can grow in a way that we can develop these relationships with the donors in the way that we want. One of the reasons why clients select consultants to help them is to really guide them through their fundraising practice, ensuring that they maintain the rigor that's required to really achieve the best outcomes. We were able to help the Selwyn Foundation establishing policies, procedures, and develop a very strong case for support that we took out to various stakeholders to assess what their um, thoughts were about that, how it resonated with them, and then bring it back, adjust as necessary to ensure that they were going to be able to have a very strong fundraising program. So after the Giving Architects team had interviewed the various areas of the Selwyn Foundation, the key point there was to take that information and develop a case for support. And that case of support is, was developed to, for us to be able to test with key stakeholders that we had already identified would be first the first people that we might approach and ask whether they'd want to be interested in supporting the foundation. And that case of support um, was, was given to them to read and focus groups were held and individual meetings with each of the um, participants, something like 20, 24 people were interviewed and as a result of that changes were made to the case of the support but what it did tell us is um, the people who we had identified would who would feel positive towards Selwyn and these were a range of current donors, um, Selwyn Centre coordinators, um, family members of or historic connections with the Selwyn Foundation, um, some village residents, all these different people all came back with really positive uh, views on, on what we were trying to achieve and where we were trying to go and some really good insights for us to change and tweak and 
um, particularly around the, the use of statistics and, and actually expressing to people what the issues are for older people in New Zealand because uh, most were alarmed at what they were hearing and that was, that was a really valuable insight for us. So that whole process took oh, many, many months but was worth all the energy and effort that went into that, uh, along with the continuing to keep in contact with those people and, and, and let them know what we're up to. The thing that I really um, appreciated that the Giving Architects team provided me with was they made it very easy for me to start with the original proposal and what we were planning to, what was planning to be delivered, and every step of the way, I was I was given the pieces that related back to the proposal in a really meaningful way, so I could actually see and and be able to talk to the deliverables to my senior leadership team and and to the board. So that was extremely helpful, and most importantly, was at the end of uh, the piece of work completed. Uh, a beautiful Google account file full of every piece of completed work um, so that should I not have filed as well as I may have, I actually had the final versions of everything all complete and succinct for me. Well, the great thing about um, Giving Architects team was that they introduced us, they've got a wide network themselves and they were able to introduce us to other like-minded organisations who were heading in a similar direction and looking at the needs of older people and identifying that there were things that could and should be done. So by bringing us together, um, it's hoped that in the future we'll be able to work together for, for the greater good rather than... Um, continuing to work as individual charities and organisations. but um, So that's been really useful. We're at the very early stages of that process, um, but it's a great start because we've got these warm, warm relationships already built for us and established as a result of giving architects. One of the things we can all be quite sure of uh, in projects like this is things don't always go quite according to script and you just and it's mainly because we're discovering things as we go and uh, reprioritizing uh, things based on opportunities that emerge. And so sometimes these, these can be seen as curveballs uh, or changes to the script, but in reality, it's about the voyage of discovery. So it was really important to work with uh, Soil Foundation throughout this program work to uh, embrace and accept things that needed to change, but also really hold people to account so that we got to the destination we'd all agreed we're aiming for. We're faced with quite a few challenges. Um, throughout the time that I was working with Giving Architects, they had about eight months of not, not being aware of um, some significant changes that may or may not have occurred at the Selwyn Foundation and um, of which was um, a sale of a large portion of our retirement villages. Because it was commercially sensitive, because we didn't even know if we'd get a deal in the end, we couldn't say anything. We had to progress with the knowledge of what we did have in front of us. And um, what's good about that is had we waited, we wouldn't. We still wouldn't have started, at least at this point where we find ourselves having divested 50% of our retirement village portfolio and now in a really good position to invest, to start building a fund so that we can start doing more giving. What the a giving architects team were able to provide us with was some really good ground rules and, and views and direction for us to start working towards until such time that we've got that um, internal expertise that we'll still we're yet to bring into the organisation. So they were able to give us the direction that we needed to to start that journey. What I really liked was that we re we became family with the Selwyn Foundation, and they worked incredibly hard on delivering all of the information that we were asking for, um, keeping to the timeframes that we set for them, 
and it was such a great working relationship. Uh, I just so enjoyed it. It was a huge privilege to work with an organization that was so focused on the mission and wanting to change things around to deliver great impact. And of course, the responsibility uh, doesn't rest with us, it rests with the organisation themselves and what they do from this point forward. And so, in that regard, we were able to really embrace our role as the trusted advisors, uh, able to um, bring best practice to the fore in that yeah. particular setting. So, yeah, what a great joy, and we're really looking forward to seeing what happens next. And we are, indeed. Yeah.